Also, I'm still a little bit unsure about you just walking the streets and whatnot and being wanted. Maybe just to happen. You do stick out like a sore thumb down the line in that bloody ridiculous outfit. Really? Put on something else. Oh. Dear. Oh dear. Anyway, what side it is? Find Rodlek and get the placards from him. I'll see what I can do. Depending on whether or not he's pretty far away. Like, what side is... Eh, pretty close by. Yeah, that should be easily manageable. Uh, dude, what are you doing up on the roof? I mean, there's this thing called Fiddler on the roof. A bard on the roof does not fit the description. Thank you very much. Anyway, onwards. Blackhearts. Alright, so this is supposed to be the place? No, this is not supposed to be the place. Uh, don't mind me, just passing through. Never mind, not passing through. I'll go the long way around. Fine. Where is this fella? In here? Greetings, don't mind me. Hello. Um, has there been an accident? There has been an accident. Are you the cause of this accident? Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Oh, is it now? Yeah. I'm not gonna let you steal from him. I'm I need him to maybe finish some placards and whatnot, so You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Yeah, come and get me. Come and get me. It's been a while. Come on. Come on. Make the first move. Don't you dare. What? I'm just a witcher. I'm standing no. still. See? Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong there. I'll take both of you on at the same time if you don't put me in a corner. Like, that's cheating. See? Very much cheating. Stop it. Stop it. That's it. That's it. That's much more like it. Come on. No. Again, I've taken down worse thugs than you. But to be honest, those thugs uh, gave me a little bit more room. There we go, there we go, there we go, come on. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? They're gonna make me wait for as long as I'm still standing. No. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Come on. One down, one down. One more to go. Ugh. Not gonna let these idiots pummel me into the ground. Thank you very much. What you want. Damn it. I want you gone. Blackards. And I want the blackguards. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal butter state. Losing his last crowns at the races. Yeah, boy. Well, I need to See, go there anyway, at nice. some point. Could have said so right away. Yeah, you could have. Anyway, you're not allowed to steal. But I am allowed. See, all we fought for was the right to take his stuff. Thank you very much. And I'm just doing this to put it in safekeeping, so you can't take it home with you. Like, there are people waiting. Haven't you heard? There's a line of people who want his money. So thank you very much. Does he have anything else? He has lots of booze. So this man has been using all his money to bet and whatnot. Bet and drink booze, and I keep jumping inside. Oh, I don't want to. Come on. I'll just take it all. But apparently, he thus is at the Vagalbutt estate? Interesting. No, don't use the crossbow. Just use the bloody torch. Thank you. So much better. But that does mean he's talked to Rod like in the Vagalbutt's residence. Well, that means we're off to the races. Uh, one thing is for sure, though. I do hope that by the time we arrive, the weather has cleared up at least a little bit, because I don't really see myself racing in this madness. Or at least, I see myself racing in this madness, but I don't see myself winning in this madness. Hi. A church, the eternal fire, what? 
Eternal Fire Chapel, hello. This shrine greets travelers on their way to Oxenfurt. Merchants sometimes stop here to sell goods to pilgrims and visit the scholars. Uh, and visiting scholars. Um, greetings, is there by any chance of merchants around? Faster. Doesn't look like it. Well, in that case, uh, enjoy life, although I am thus curious about the encampment that's all the way over here. And yes, I do hear the wolves. Greetings! Can I be nosy, or is this just a military encampment? Oh, shut up. Yeah, just a military encampment. Well, that's fine. In that case, Roach, let's move on to the Vagelbutt's residence. I keep calling it the Vagelbutt Estate. Come on. Both work for me. Yeah, well, it appears that the weather is still horrible. Well, in that case, I guess that we'll have to just make do. Um... I hope you haven't started just yet. Uh, can I park my horse here anywhere? Seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but you shan't back out on that account, eh? Ah, much of a choice before long. Come now, old sport. We can't allow that. Who'd I wager with then, eh? Listen, here's what we'll do. We'll make one more bet. If you win, I'll pay your debts and we'll continue playing. What do you say? And if I lose? One worry at a time, old chum. Well, I'm off to place my bet. Did you just Ooh, walk against deepest, Roach? Deepest. It was your own fault. Uh, okay, for a moment I thought I heard... Uh, what's his name? The Nilfgaardian fella. No clue. Um, anyway, hi. Uh, is everything okay here? Rotlek? You Rotlek? Henri Rotlek? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Roach. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Well, tell him his placards are done and safely Roach, hidden away. don't Yet eat rot leg, please. Them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Yeah, I noticed that. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. And who's this Count de Louverton? Like, am I supposed to know him? Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. Oh. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. That may be fair. So, in that regard, what's there to worry about? What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. Or double down on the debt. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Yeah, that's not very pleasant. Uh, on one hand, I just want those placards. Okay, I could pay this debt for you and make sure that you are out of it entirely. On the other hand, I came here to race, and there is supposed to be another big race coming up shortly, so maybe I can use a practice? I'll try and win the race for you. And otherwise, well, yeah, tough luck for you. Yeah? Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts. Then give me the placards. You are that good a rider. I hope so. Worst. Go tell the count you accept his offer. Oh boy, what am I getting myself into here? Let's do this. All right. We stay ahead. We stay ahead. We try to follow the main road. I don't know in what manner things have changed because we have ridden on this track before. Sure, and everything is fine as a result, but if anything happens on the road, or if we suddenly have a detour, then I don't fully know what to do. So yeah, we are at full speed right now. I'm going to slow down just a tad, just a tad. No, you're not going to pass me, no matter how much you might like to try. I'm winning these placards. Well, to be honest, I'm not winning any placards. 
I'm just winning the... I'm winning the race for glory, and then I get the placards as a bonus. See? Nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong there. I hope. Don't block me. Don't block me. Thank you. Thank you. This is fine. There we go. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Perfect. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. And in that regard, yeah, thank you very much. Um, ooh, and I got money for it. And a master crafted saddle. Did we have that one already? I think we had that one already. No, we didn't have a master crafted saddle, but we did have a superior racing saddle. So in that regard, we were already better off, but I can sell it. And that makes me happy. So, um, yeah, that is that done. Apparently... What? Apparently, there's supposed to be... More races going on. Do we need to be with you? Or with one of you? I need to be up above. That's where I need to be. Galloping poetry? Are you the bookie? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, how do I get a... I'm very sorry, people. This place is just very confusing because, of course, the bloody staircase is at the back. Hi. Greetings. It's a lovely day, isn't it, for a race? Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. Oh, I definitely will join, but uh, before that, can you tell me about the races? These races. Tell me about them. They run as per Erasmus Vagel Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Hmm. Nice. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house. But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. Very easy. Well, in that case, here's my entrance fee. I want a race. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, let's do this. Competitors, saddle up. On three. One, two, three. Uh, Off you go. People, there's a race about to start. Why the hell are you standing on the middle of the racetrack? Dear, oh dear, they don't understand what importance lies in racing. Come on, Roach. At least the weather cleared up, and I'm very happy with that one. Well, to be honest, yeah, the, the weather had already cleared up pretty much, so I'm not complaining. And this is all fine. And I'm kind of surprised by the whole fact that it's only 1v1. Like, again, I don't mind. Excuse me. No, you're not passing. You're not passing, no matter how much you might like. I really expected to raise multiple opponents at some point in time, but hey, I don't mind, because Roach and I have totally got this. And what could we get in return for all of this? Another saddle, master crafted, more stuff to sell, I really don't mind, just give me glory! Hear ye, hear ye, the final of the Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby is over! The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Can I get my applause? Can I get my applause? No applause? Not bad. It didn't Yet want me to win. Kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Are there more races? I mean... Sure. Let's go with one more. Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. Well, well, well. The Viscount races incognito, 
so I must ask for your discretion. Incognito? In what manner incognito? Okay, well, we'll manage, we'll manage. And again, people on the middle of the racetrack. Why people on the middle of the racetrack? Did you just try to ram me? How dare you? Well, don't you have a care in the world? I will totally pummel you into the ground. Oh, I do wonder. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, this is kind of what I was fearing. The racetrack be different. Quite different. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. And get that stamina back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Once the racetrack starts becoming a whole lot different, I'm really going to have to pay a whole lot more attention as to what the hell is going on. Because I really don't want to go off track and be disqualified for it. Or get stuck between two trees. Again, that kind of stuff does happen in this world. And it's not out of the question. So, are we good? Do we have the required stamina for the entire track? I think I'm gonna have to slow down just a tad again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Don't you dare pass me, friend. Don't you dare. Uh, I wonder how many more races there will be. Like, is this a thing we can do at every single point in time, or is there a limit? Come on, people. Feel free to applaud and cheer. Please. No one? Yes, that's what I like to hear. Thank you. Bravo. Congratulations. You won in style. Thank you. Shall I sign you up for another? Ooh, rugged saddlebacks. I already got those, but if there are more races, sure. If I keep getting stuff for it, sure. Wanna try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time, Luke Vagelbud. Young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. You named the horse Succubus? The family, but he's not lost a race yet. So he's seen as something of a local champion. Well, let's dethrone him then, shall we? Oh, it's night time. Oh, I don't like night time. Okay, this is probably going to be a little bit more of an issue. Off we go, off we go. Oh, you're speedy. Haha. <laughs> but if your horse is frightened by the thunder, then you have got yourself a problem, Lord Vegglebutt. Or soon to be Lord Vegglebutt. Whatever the case may be, I'm not really that familiar. Uh, to the right we go. To the right we go. This racetrack is really getting different. Uh, how far behind? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Were you giving me a head start? Oh boy, I hope you weren't giving me a head start. Because, okay, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. I do hear wolves. This is fine. Come on, come on, Roach. I have all faith in you. I have all faith in you that we are totally going to win this. Totally going to win this. Come on. A little bit of stamina back. A little bit of stamina back. And he will stay far behind us. If we can do this to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Okay, come on. Come on. I know it's raining, I know it's thundering, and I know we hate it, and I know we've been at this all day, and you might be bloody well tired after this entire day of Razor's Roach, but we got this. Come on, come on. Don't mess up now. We're nearly here. Come on. He's not even near us. Oh, the poor fool. Well, I hope he didn't die, but... It's pretty much game over him. Well, I'm happy you continued this race even though it was raining and all the people left, but Fantastic race. Congratulations. A grand victory. Thank you. And superior cavalry saddle. Hey. Well, it could be quite profitable. Yeah, you've noticed that. 
Well, the great Erasmus Vagabond Memorial Get Derby. Uh, Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. Oh, God. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Why? What the hell does Clee for once? Message from Carlo Fares. Well, well, well. Witcher, I've heard about your victory in the Vagobots Derby. Such talent shouldn't go to waste. In fact, it needs to develop. And to make sure it develops, I need to be generously rewarded. If you're interested in either development or the reward, come visit me at my usual headquarters, the Fares. Well, I'm intrigued, but also not too sure. Talk to Cleaver about the letter. Yeah. The Vagabots family's out of town estate was famed not only for its lovely guardians and sumptuous banquets, uh, but also for the series of horse races organized there in honor of one of the line's illustrious ancestors, Erasmus. Geralt, who had spent a great many years in the saddle, decided to test his mettle in this derby, lured perhaps by the sizable rewards promised to the victor. The Vagabot races sequeed into an unexpected encore. Cleaver, one of Novigrad's crime lords, was so impressed by the witch's riding prowess that he offered him the chance to take part in the equally famed, though illegal, race organized by the local underworlds. Well, a race is a race at the end of the day, isn't it? And if we ever get caught, I'll just say, I was... They were trying to capture me. I was riding away as fast as I could. Oh, right on the racetrack? Uh, I didn't know what to do. I, I just followed the road. Maybe they'll fall for it, maybe not, but it's fine. Rugged saddlebags are worse. Superior cavalry saddle is better. Roach, you have got yourselves a new one. Enjoy. That means, yeah, we've got quite a few things to sell in the future. But, uh, Rodleg is fine. Are you fine? You're fine. That means we need to return back to Novigrad. Unless something is going to distract me by the looks of things. Doesn't look like it. No. Uh, okay, maybe one thing can distract me on the way there. I'll check in with this Breen Hodge. See what this Lord of the Wood business is. And after that we will return to down the line. Hopefully the... Uh, the Rosemary and Thyme is finished. Everything will be ready, the placards are ready, we have a grand opening, everyone is happy, and then, yeah. Afterwards, talk to Cleaver about the letter. Well, we've got a path cut out for us. And in the meantime, of course, we'll keep our eyes open if we find any clue regarding Siri. Because hey, at the end of the day, sure, we might have no more leads regarding Siri. Enough of Grand and Felon and whatnot, and Roach. Roach, come on. It's not that difficult to go... Roach? Why? Roach, come on. Just walk in this direction. Roach? Roach, why are you being a bot? Roach, how difficult can it be to... Come, come on. Roach, I know you don't want to go this way. But we totally are going this way. Yeah, thank you. All right, uh, finishing my line of thought before Roach suddenly started doing crazy stuff again. Um, yeah, we might have no more leads regarding Siri in Velen and Novigrad. And our only lead right now might be all the way in the Skellige Isles. Hey there. But... There might still be more going on here. Whoa. People, there's something going on here. Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. Add it up for you, lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. Thus death. <sighs> Just let them through, please. Just this once, okay? They seem desperate. Let him through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? 
I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Just say you didn't see these people. Land pass, if you know what's good for you, no. They're refugees. Let them pass, if you can. Please. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. We've got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We'll be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you... You was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. Yeah, I've already been there. Thank you for the advice and whatnot, but yeah. Okay, normally... Maybe a, it is a mistake to let all kinds of people enter because, hey, once everyone goes to Novograd, there will be no more space in Novograd. Novograd itself is already dealing with famine and whatnot, hey but there. there's war right on the doorstep, so they have really nowhere else to go right now. And it's not like they're traveling all the way to, well, let's say... Um, it's not like they're traveling all the way to the Duchy of Toussaint while it's safe in Novograd. Basically. They'll find their way for now, which means for us, time to continue. And thus, we arrive at the Cani of the Goods. Roach, you wait here. I'll be right back right after I figure out who I need to talk to. And also, once I figure out how to stop getting in trouble with invisible walls. There's a real plague going on with them these days. Dear oh dear. Anyway, the Lord of the Wood. A certain halfling named Breen Hodge had hung a notice stating he was in need of a professional monster slayer, and Carol decided to see what was the matter. So we have no clue as to what is going on, what's required from us, but I'm sure we will be fine. Greetings, you're the one we're looking for. Welcome, Master Witcher. I happen to see your notice, good sir. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hodge. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Of course, of course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. But... And details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Said some forest devil had attacked them. Squirtel, maybe? Or actual ghosts? Who knows? In any case, though, uh, you gotta, you gotta get paid for my price. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer is just not enough. I don't know how much the current offer is, apparently it's 260. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made in this endeavor, isn't there, good sir? So, how about this? 320 crowns in total, meaning a bonus rate of 60 for me, will include me dealing with this issue so that you can have access to those logs and can make a whole lot more profit in the nearby future. Does that sound okay? Mm, you're not cheap, but I can see you've tried to be reasonable. We might still agree a price. Oh, we might still agree on a price indeed. 310 in that case. Good enough? No? Mm, you're not cheap. Yeah, but okay, I can see okay. You've tried to be reasonable. We might still agree a price. I guess that means we're gonna lower it to 300 then. Nice and round, don't be more annoyed. Really? You're not cheap, but I can see you've tried to be reasonable. We might still agree a price. You know, this is supposed to work like, okay, you give me the base rate of 260, I ask 320. You say that's too much, I'll give you this much. And then I go again and say, no, I'll, I'll give me 300. 
then you say no okay how about 290 you're the one who's supposed to say what you would agree with and then i try to haggle for a little bit more that's how this song and dance is played not with me randomly guessing of uh, 295 oh are you going to be more annoyed then see you're going to be more annoyed cheap. okay fine well, I can see you've tried to be reasonable we might still agree a price fine 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 i'll drop it even more 285 i swear if you're still annoyed with this very well let us say that's a price i'll pay willingly yeah fine i'll tend to your problem i'll take the job this logger where'll i find him around last i saw him he was drinking away his pay said he had to honor his dead comrades sounds like he had a rough time then right over here okay a logger who of you appears to be a logger i think you might be greetings welcome traveler drink with me you cocksucker fucking knock back a few so's my mates are race peaceful something plowed them up good but i don't know what it was don't know who or what to cuss talk to one breen hotch Told me all about your comrade's death. No blicker. We tried to explain. Some horror was prowling in the forest. He oh. refused to believe it. Yeah. Well, I happen to be tracking the monster right now, which means any kind of information you can give me to actually get revenge for your mates, it would be very helpful. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what I said. Good man, Breen. Though a halfling. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? <laughs> we were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. Pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel got stuck. Magnus Rector hollered. I should run to the hut for the crossbows. So I ran. Come back to the woods. What they plow and massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Hmm. Thanks. Really helpful that. Kill the bugger. Will you? I'll try. Alright, well that does indeed sound like a werewolf. Like if it's a howl. Like I'm not entirely sure, a fiend. Did fiends howl as well? I can't fully remember, but I do have a clear idea of where I need to be. All the way near the log outside where we have been before. Well, it's a small detour. We'll find the woodcutter's hut where Hodge is staying and see what the deal is. Roach, please follow along with me. Thank you very much. We're about to deal with possibly a werewolf. Well, I'm not a great fan of it being the middle of the night, and I'm also not a fan of some bloody wolves trying to chase me. Shoo! Yeah, no great fan of it being the middle of the evening. But everything will be fine. If we find a werewolf, it will probably be on the prowl. This will be the right time. So for safety reasons, let's put some cursed oil on our silver sword. And just in case, some beast oil on our steel weapon. Hopefully that will work out nicely. And also, do I want to change any of my bombs? I'll put a north wind bomb on there as well. So, this be the logger's hut. This logger's hut. Be to find the spot where they died. Yeah, that might be an issue because we don't know where they went. Uh, we do know where they went because we have the information on the cards. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road, probably towards their clearing. Which means it's time to see if we can follow those tracks, and thus see where they end up. In the meantime, let's keep our eyes and ears open for any and all dangers in the wilds. And that sounds like Nekas again. Are you going to cause issues? You better not, because if you will, I will kill you. And I will also kill you if you happen to be on the road, which means I'm very sorry, but it is bound to happen. Prince, excuse me, but you're in my way. Anyone else? You too? Hi. Yes, I'll take care of you as well. We want to leave you out of the fun. So, tracks 
still keep it going on. More necks in the area, but he mentioned a howl of some kind. Well, I found a card. Uh, a sword. Might it still be Scoyatel? Or. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. Could be still a werewolf. Hmm. Claw marks. Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. And then he got utterly slaughtered. Clawed the rock. Must have been angry and strong. Definitely werewolf. But also someone else leaving. A dwarf went this way. Yeah, this is probably not the way that we have to go as a result, but... Hmm. Did he get away? Yes, he did get away. Not for long, but... Roots pinned this one to the ground. So hard he suffocated. Um... Never mind, we're not dealing with a werewolf. Are we? Possibly. Possibly dealing with a lesion? I don't have information on lesions, but. It did seem to be Rudy, the one that we saw. Hmm. Okay, this might turn out to be an issue, because I have never actually fought a lesion before, and the last one I did see was utterly terrifying, and also, it bloody be dark. Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Everything says lesion. Yeah. The young one. Must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. Crows serve lesions. Should find some near the totem. Okay, so crows serve lessons and crows serve the crows, and crows be a bad omen, that's for sure. But we do have information now. What was this thing's name and what is it? Is it a relict? It's a relict. Karakun. Novigrad. The greatest metropolis in the world. The acme of civilization. Material proof, or so one is tempted to think of mankind's ability to tame and control nature. Yet right outside the city walls lies the Novigrad wilderness, and whoever sets foot in it soon finds out that man's primacy does not extend past the city walls. One of the monsters who made its lair in the thick tangle was an old, powerful lesion. It killed any who strayed into its territory with its species' characteristic cruelty, lacerating them with razor-sharp claws sanding strangling plants shooting out of the ground or feeding them to a pack of hungry wolves. If not for its vulnerability to fire, the Ignite sign included, and the protection of the Quen sign, one could wager not even the toughest witcher will be able to slay the beast. Well, Relict, Oil, Quen, Igni, and possibly Dimeridium it is. And Lessions in general. We never hunt in these woods. Never. Even if it means the whole village starves. Muldifer, Elderman of Hoshberg in Lower Eden. Lesions dwell in dense primeval woods. Fiercely territorial creatures, they hunt with stealth and cunning as their only companions. They use their inborn magic to control the plants and animals in the territory, so when stalking them, half the battle is merely getting near enough to strike. Lesions old enough to earn the appellation Ancient wield advanced skills and tactics that make them particularly dangerous. Oh, I can imagine. Well, relic oil in that case it is. And again, beast oil my steel sword. Just in case. And how was I with relic oil? I'm really happy that I upgraded my relic oil right now. Oh boy. Okay, I hear the crows in that area. I hear something big in that area. I think I'm gonna have to be here. Follow the crows. And also, ready your sword just in case. This is what I'm hearing the crows. Not a lesson's birds. False trail. Ah, okay, that's fine. Well, in that case, let's listen to the trail. These are normal birds as well. Probably gonna have to be with the big boy all the way over there, so. Maybe? We'll see. Not a lesson's birds. Ravens looks like 
No sign of a totem. Yeah. Part of me would want to wait till night or till night time is over. Because really it'd be bloody dark at times. But we can manage. Also, ooh, this might be the perfect time. Okay, we know the weather currently is very cloudy, which means we could take a fog at the cox to increase our sight intensity. So I am going to take that. We also know that uh, this might be dangerous. So probably we want to deal a whole lot of damage. Well, let's see what kind of things that I have. Damage dealt to foes regenerates vitality could very much work. So I'm going to take that. That means our vitality is at 59. Which leaves a little bit of space left for some other potions. So hopefully this will work. And also, yeah, I guess we'll put our Demeridian Bomb on here as well. Alright, let's see. What have we got? There be many more ravens around. Not a missions, birds. False trail. Why are there so many ravens all of a sudden? There's seriously so many of them. Oh. Oh, now you seem to be what I'm looking for. Okay, I've got no clue how this is gonna go. I, again, don't know full capability of a Leshen. And behold, a Leshen's totem. Now, to destroy it, how to piss it off, make it leave its lair. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm worrying about, because, uh, again, I have never actually fought a Leshen, and last time we saw one, we ran away like a screaming child. So, uh, dear oh dear, how about this? Place the Aaron sign, just in case, put another one on top, put a Quen sign as well, and then we probably make it upset. It's quiet. Um. Okay, that's terrifying. That is bloody well terrifying. Bloody well terrifying. Hello, my friend. How are you? Let's make sure that we do this properly. Have the Igni sign ready. Have the Igni sign ready. And... Okay, you don't seem to get too much. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on, Kerkun. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't know what kind of tricks you have in mind. But my Eden sign is really dealing with you, isn't it? Come on. Whoa, 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 can you not do that, please? Sending out your raven. Thank you. Okay, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Your fire or your burning body is currently betraying you. Come on, big boy. Come on. That didn't do as much as I had hoped it would. Okay. My Quen is gone. My Quen is gone. It's probably a bad idea. Oh. 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 Greetings, fellas. Is it? It is gone now. Whoa. Hi. Good evening. Um, yeah. I think I just dealt with a lesson by burning it alive. Thank God for Igni. Thank God for her improved sign intensity. Is there or there? This really makes me feel a whole lot more comfortable with one day returning all the way to the south of Felon. And actually dealing with a lesion. And that means we got a lesion mutagen. Like unicorn sword. And a lesion trophy. Let's see. Black unicorn. Eh. Not as good as my current sword. Definitely not as good. I mean, art sign intensity and chance to cause bleeding is fine. But my current sword is just so much better. So, no thanks. And in regards to our... Lesion trophy. Bonus experience from monsters. I mean, that's fine, but I like my chance to find additional herbs, so yeah. Alright, well, that's a job well done in that case. 
Raven, shoot. Is this the actual end of the lesson now? I hope it is. Which means, time to collect our reward from Green Hodge and bring him the good news. I do have to say though, I'm at least... Roach. I'm at least a little bit surprised by the fact that that lesion didn't actually cause any harm towards the square tail in those woods. Like, Whoa. sure the square tail would probably know not to mess with the lesion's exact area where he was, and they probably knew what area thus to avoid, but nonetheless, I mean, that lesion was really close by, but yeah. That means it's a job well done, which means, Breen, job well done. Welcome, Master Witcher. I have dealt with your issue. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain no other Leshen will show? It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a Witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Farewell. Farewell, indeed. Which means that be Lord of the Wood completed. And that means our lumberjack friend will have their friends finally avenged. Don't worry, pal. Job well done. I figured that Alicia would be weak to fire, but... Holy! Sure, we were beefed up with a Falkland decoction and of course our overall focus on science, but that pile of timber burned better than I ever could have imagined.